Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. In this Mass of the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time and in our live coverage, special live coverage for the 34th Parochial Fiesta Celebration of St. Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Parish, Buhangin, let us include in our prayers the following intentions together with the intentions offered here at St. Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Parish, Buhangin, Davao City. Thanksgiving offered by Our Lady of Fatima Parish for their first day in Novena, ACD Family, j Marketing, b -Pen Trading, Bernard and Rose Enriquez, for all the blessings and graces for the company of Active for the 38th year anniversary on October 22, offered by Active Family, Give of Life for all birthday celebrators of Our Lady of Manawag Prayer Community Devotees, and members for the month of October, One Cycle Mile Corporation, Mr. Alejandro and Mrs. Grace Adoptar and Family, Norma Villegas and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rolando and Leonora Lim and Family for good health, guidance, and blessings of the family, Rafaelito de Luzon, Ronnie Dropan, 13th anniversary of Microtel by Windham Davao for the gift of life of Rosalinda Servano, Thanksgiving of Ray and Chato Aranda and family for John Michael's successful licensure board exam, gift of life of, of Dr. Vernie Carla Catampo Ababon, Thanksgiving of Dr. John Michael Miranda Aranda, Prosper Dahalos Jr., Lucille Dahalos, Lera Lorely de Asis, Cres D. Gumban, gift of life of Roberta de Asis, Rod May and Zoe Sazon, Iliana Bril Serrano Derla, Fraina Family, Special Intentions, Healing and Fast Recovery of John Francis Fuentes of Fred John Bongo. Special Intentions for the Guidance of the Holy Spirit in Facing this Pandemic and Beyond. For the Protection of the Catholic Church. For the Grace of Healing and Strength of Chris May Bacali and Children. For Senator Bato de la Rosa for Wisdom and Guidance from Above for His and His Family's Protection. For Healing, Protection and Guidance of Sir Harold Bonhe. For the successful heart surgery and fast recovery of Kenneth Atanke. Safety and protection of family frontliners, Brett Brian Atalan, J.R. Atalan, Bral Demetrio, and Geneva Otwell. We pray for the eternal repose of the souls of Digna, Arlene, Evangeline, Manuel, Frank, Visminda, Gloria, Ignacio, Remedios, Esther, Ilomina, Diostado, L.V., Vivian, Porferio, Janisha, Renato, Marino, Manuelito, Artemio, Victoria, Pedro, Hernandita, Exuperio, Irinea, Josefina, Concepcion, Julio, George, Francisca, Divina, Lazaro, Benimerita, Conrado, Grace, Gloria, Los Viminda, Robert, Pelajeo, Julito, Edna, Vince, Agustin Sr., Severina, Ignacia, Mamerto, Alvin, Ernesto Sr., Silvino, Aurora, Concepcion, Julio, Adoracion, Leocito, Catalina, Remejo, Rufina, Rosario, Alex, Petronio, Pelahia, Julio, Salvador, Corazon, Remedios, Nanita, Erico, Crescentiana Jr., Crescentiana Sr., Marina, Erlinda, Eugenia, Sofia, Amancia, Gloria, Hendry, Ateliano, Patricia Sr., Cecilia, Limuque, Tecumso, Nanita, Gemma Vic, Manuel, Milana, Henry, Maria Salina, Jose, Jovi, Crescentia, Dominador, Victor, Mariano, Raul, Josefina, Maxima, Salvacion, Francisco, Vince, Norma, Patricia, Cashana Sr., Nolly, Julius, Chavi, Bernandita, Catalino, Modesta, Alan, Cesar, Esperanza, Emmanuel, Jose, Vilma, Conchita, Alvin, Corazon, Seferino, Rosalia, May, Demetrio Sr., Gloria, Rodolfo Sr., Lucrecio, Von Cyril, Leonardo, Demostenes, Jim Austin, Herman, Sofronio, Exoperio, Celestina, Luisito, and all the souls of Our Lady of Manawag Prayer, community devotees, and members who have gone before us, all souls who remember in this Mass, and all souls in Purgatory. Together with our personal and family's intentions, and the intentions offered by the parishioners of St. Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Parish, Buhangin Davao City, in their 34th parochial fiesta, let us also include in our prayers the intentions of all our mission partners. Our Mass presider in this Mass 
is Rev. Father Ray Sabuero, parochial vicar of St. Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Parish, Buhangin, Davao City. Hello, this one.
Salvi and Fin Tony Lysel for the all for all blessings received. Mr. and Mrs. Jo, jo Daniel and family, Fraya Aiko and Daryl Flores, Mr. and Mrs. Bobby and Joyce Lumano for the birthday of Fodida, Fobida Jan Lumano. Ricky Mas for the souls of Cinderella, Antonio Sr., Antonio Jr., Finn, Alejandro, Juan, Oliver, Joseph, Narciso, Buena Venturada, Palladio, Efren, Basilisa, Ines, Teresita, Lito, Mike, Blong Blong, Rosario, Ambrosio, Rogelio Sr., Giselle, and Fidelina. Our family sponsors for this 5.30 p.m. Mass, Nets, Christ Cheer, and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Nonoy and Dadang Liray, Salvi and Finn Tony Lysel, Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Licarte, Mr. and Mrs. Mercy Cascabel, Mr. and Mrs. Bong Dongyapon, Mr. and Mrs. Chona Villaruza, Mr. and Mrs. Marivic Arapok, Miss Matelde Sohangid, Mr. and Mrs. Edgar and Langa Doyo, Mr. and Mrs. Domin Dominica How, Mr. and Mrs. John Escalada, and Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo Pabrua and family. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And happy parochial fiesta to all. Happy fiesta. Today we celebrate the 34th annual fiesta celebration of our patron saint, Saint Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Parish with the theme, Santa Maria Inahang Maluluyon Dalang Panan sa Katawhan Matuuhon Taliwala sa Kabalaka O Kahingawa. In this celebration, let us be reminded that amid the obstacles that we encounter, we must learn to lift our hopes high and entrust ourselves to God, who is the source of our repute. Let us humbly implore to Saint Mary that she may intercede for us as we continue to follow God's call. With grateful hearts, please all stand and let us sing the entrance hymn.
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and happy fiesta to all of us. 34 years of unending grace of God through the intercession of our dear Saint Mary of the Perpetual Rosary. 34 years of her prayer and intent intercession for all of us. So with grateful heart, we bring back all the glory and praise to God that she may always be with us in our journey, especially as we continue in this life here on earth. And we will continue to ask her grace that she may always give us the courage, the enthusiasm, the dedication to serve in this parish. So to prepare ourselves in this celebration, let us call to mind our sins. Together I confess Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let me now sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower and hold out a wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah judged between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I have not done? Why, when I look for the crops of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now, I will let you know what I mean to do with my vineyard. Take away its heads. Give it to bracing, break through its wall. Let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It shall not be prone or hood, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his cherished plans. He looked for judgment, but see bloodshed, for justice, but heart, the outcry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A vine from Egypt you transplanted. You drove away the nations and planted it. It put forth its foliage to the sea. It shoots as far as the river. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Why have you broken down its walls so that every pastor by flocks is fruit? The boar from the forest lay its ways, and the beasts of the field feed upon it. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from the heavens and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The son of man whom you yourself made strong. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Then we'll no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. O Lord, God of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be saved. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, 
make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the chief priest and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants more numerous than the first ones but they treated them in the same way finally he sent his son to them thinking they will respect my son but when the tenants saw the son they said to one another this is the heir come let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. Desist him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants he when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death, and list his vineyard to other tenants, who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. 
Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Once again, good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. In the book of Genesis, we find something very significant that somehow helped us understand our gospel today. When God, in the Gen when God created Adam and Eve, He said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and conquer it. Then, a few verses later, it says, The Lord God took the man and settled him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and take care of it. So, kitagaan na yun sila o task and responsibility sa ginoo. And after that, however, the trouble started when a serpent appeared to Eve, tempted her, and she fell, just as Adam did soon afterwards. So, dininag sugot ang disobedience nilang duha. One of the important points here is that God gave Adam and Eve some work to do. He put them in the garden and told them to cultivate and care for it. However, they were not so faithful in doing this. Instead of working hard and taking good care of the garden, they thought of leisurely about how they might improve their land. Perhaps they even thought of how they could get over more power and authority so that they were work less. So, more ni lang ulangi, huna huna. And so, they disobeyed God and ate the fruit from the forbidden tree. In the gospel today, we see something similar. Using allegory, St. Matthew makes some comparisons. The vineyard is Israel. The owner of the vineyard is God. After he sets up the vineyard, God sent his servants, the prophets, in order to get the fruit of the vineyard. But the tenants, that is, the religious leaders of the Jews, abuse and kill them. They even killed the landowner's son, who of course is Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the interesting thing is that, like the book in the book of Genesis, the story tells us a lot about work. According to Genesis, when God created the world, He was very busy. First, He made light and darkness, then plants and animals and birds and so on. Even in the story today, the landowner God is also very busy. He plants a vineyard, then he makes a fence, he digs a deep hole to have a place to press the grapes, and finally, he builds a tower. The tenants, that is, the Jewish priests and scholars, don't do anything. Do we know that the, the, the scholars of the law and the Jewish priests no, they are really well versed of the traditions and the law. But why they don't do anything? Because they thought they already shared their knowledge and skills and why they will do something more. No? So, ang ilang gibuhat is nagtinapulan. No? All they think about and all they want are the prophets from the vineyard. Ang ginansya na giyod, ang ilang ginahuna. Brothers and sisters, one of the theme in the gospel, I think, is the value and importance of work. How do we value our work? How do we give importance our work? Work, we know that is good for us. And there are many practical rewards. Work, of course, brings salary. 
Di ba, malipay ta, no? Pag 15 o 30 na, kahit yung sweldo na, no? Pero usahay, no? Makaguol po, no? Kay, tingbayad man ni sa mga utang. No? Kung maayo, imo ang trabaho, maayo mo ang profession, of course, dako kay kag sweldo, no? Then, daghan pag sobra para sa mong kaugalingon. Then, it will, it, it will make you uh, have a decent life. No? Kaya you can buy anything, man, kung sobra pa ang budget. Moreover, when we work hard, we fall satisfaction. Knowing that we are developing our talents and skills as we do our job. But beyond all this, by working hard, we give glory and honor to God. Kung naadiha ang ginoo while kita nagatrabaho, malipayon magitang tanan sa pagtrabaho. It is as if, no, we are using all the talents He gave us, and in doing so, we mature and become the kingdom of person He wants us to be. So we have to be to give back to God our praise and thanksgiving for giving such work. Some of us, we are happy with their work. Some, their work makes them challenged. But of course, allow them to grow. So, whatever work we have now is a grace from God. And we have to be grateful to God in that. Magamay man siyang mga trabaho, panday man ka, or whatsoever, teacher man ka, or doctor man ka, be grateful to God. No? So dapat, kung sa tuwang ihatag, ibalik sa ginoo, kung naatay maayo nga trabaho, then, dili ta magpalate per me. No? Dili ta magsiging absent per me. No? Dili ta magpadugay-dugay, magtinapulan na noon dito sa trabahoan, na wala na'y trabahoon. No? Sayang po ang sweldo, nag-sweldo sa inyo, hangadako kaayo. Kung wala tay, prutas ini-ini. But instead, we have to try our best no, to put a dedication on it, more enthusiasm, and joy to work. Let us thank God for helping us find work. And let us do our very best as we work offering everything to God. So, kung nun sa itong trabaho ka ron, ato nang i-offer sa ginoo, huwag siya na'y bahala ang mga taga na itong extra na kusog o kadasig sa pagtrabaho. Just like Mary also, as we celebrate our 34th parochial fiesta today, we've come this far, 34 years, because of his, her unending prayer, and she continued to share her graces to us. And I believe that she worked hard also in our hearts. That just like her, we may become pure, humble, faithful, simple, and live that persevering heart in our lives. May all of us will continue to pray and make a habit to ask always the intercession of Mary by praying the Holy Rosary. Rosary can save life. Rosary can save our lives from danger and temptation. So make it a habit that wherever you go, the Rosary is in your pocket, in your bag, or wherever asa ninyo iputang ang rosaryohan. Because I believe that this rosary no, will help us really in our life. And the more that we will receive more grace from the Lord. May God bless us all. Please all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believed in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten of Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. 
For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he sat at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are grateful to the Lord for His trust and generosity towards us. Let us address our petitions to Him for all the needs of mankind, the church, and each of us. Let our response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the entire community of Catholic believers may always offer to the Lord fruits of loyalty, obedience, and generous service. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Holy Father and all our spiritual and civil leaders may continue to inspire us by their words and example to serve the Lord faithfully and thereby build God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That our missionaries and lay volunteers may reap a bountiful harvest of conversions in the nations where they exercise their ministry. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all Filipino Catholics may show an ever greater appreciation for the work of our missionaries and support them both spiritually and materially. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That our community and our families may praise God at all times and fill their minds only with what is good, pure, and holy. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all of us may reject abortion, the death penalty, euthanasia, and extrajudicial killings, and instead promote and respect life. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, the source of our fruitfulness and hope, we thank you for all your trust and patience with us. May all our days be a hymn of praise and thanksgiving to you who loved and care forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope Romulo, our bishop, 
and all the priests, deacons, and religious. Bless also these people of yours who attended in this Mass. Bless their needs and intention. Bless their individual family. Bless also who offered thanksgiving, Salve and Finn, Tony Lysel, for all the blessings received. Mr. and Mrs. Jojo Daniel and family, Freya Aiko and Daryl Flores, Mr. and Mrs. Bobby and Joyce Lumanog for the birthday of Pubida John Lumanog. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially the souls of Cinderella, Antonio Sr., Antonio Jr., Finn, Alejandro, Juan, Oliver, Joseph, Narciso, Benaventurada, Palladio, Efren, Bas Basilisa, Ines, Teresita, Lito, Mike, Blong, Blong Blong, Rosario, Ambrosio, Rogelio Sr., Jessil, and Fidelina. And all who have died in your mercy, especially the souls in purgatory, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I lived you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the COVID-19 all together. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus disease 2019 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of staming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. We also pray for all who died because of this disease. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud. Pray for us. Please be seated. Announcement. First, Ipahinumduman kita sa pagsunod sa mga nakalit, latid na mga giya o protocol aron malikayan nato ang lokal nga transmission sa kagaw nga COVID-19. Dili nato kalimtan ang social distancing, pagsulob sa face mask o face shield, paghuga sa atong mga kamot o sanitizer o alcohol, pagtunob sa foot bath, Pagdala usab ka mo o kaugalingong bolpen sa inyong nga inyong gamiton sa pagrehistro sa inyong pangalan aron masayon ang contract contact tracing. The Archdiocese of Davao and our parish Saint Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Rosary is pleased to help the campaign of Davao City Health Office dubbed as Bida solution sa COVID-19. A behavioral change campaign that encourages every Filipino to practice the four key preventive behaviors. Each letter in Bida represents one of these behaviors. B represents bawal walang mast. I represents sanitize ang kamay at iwas hawak sa mga bagay. D represents dumistansya sa isang metro. A represents al alamin ang totoong informasyon. Let us spread this message to every people and communities. We know for us to get protected and beat this COVID-19. For together, we heal as one. 
The Davao City Health is conducting a mass campaign for missiles, um, rubella supplemental immunization activity to 9 to 59 month old children on October 26 to November 25, 2020. Vaccines are available for free at the health centers. Ug ang katapusan nag Pabilin gihapon ang nga aktibo ang atong live streaming mass nga makita sa St. Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Parish Youth Ministry Facebook page ang schedule sa atong mga misa Lunes hangtod Sabado sa alas 6 sa buntag Sabado sa alas 5.30 sa hapon anticipated mass o sa adlaw Domingo sa alas 8 sa buntag Atong pasalamatan ang mga musunod. Ang PC, PSB and Alliance of the Two Hearts, Ikaduha, Family Sponsors, Nets, Grace Share and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Nonoy and Dadang Liray, Salvi and Finn, Tony Lysel, Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Licarte, Mr. and Mrs. Mercy Cascabel, Mr. and Mrs. Bong Dongyapon, Mr. and Mrs. Chuna Villaruza, Mr. and Mrs. Maribig Arapok, Ms. Matelde Sungahid, Mr. and Mrs. Edgar and Langa Duyo, Mr. and Mrs. Dominica Hau, Mr. and Mrs. Jan Escalada, and Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo Pabroa and family. And third, our choir couples for Christ and to all who joined us in our nine days novena in our live streaming mass in our procession caravan and to everyone our sincerest thank you for all the support and and the last but not the least our mass presider this afternoon mass father reverend sabuero Dibot mong kone mo kaya, <laughs> naay mo ang likon. Salamat kayo sa inyo hang suporta ilabi na during sa mo ang uh, uh, virtual uh, competition activities sa to ang duha ka couple uh, uh, nagparticipate ang mga youths sa mga different zones ang mga bata pud nga nagapil pud sa paper doll making. Ilabi na salamat sa Parachute Ministry nga nagdumala ni Ini, headed by uh, Juan Juan. Salamat kaayo. O salamat sa mga nagsuporta, naghatag financially, naghatag og na mga mga gasa para sa tuang parokya. Kaniyo tanan daghan kaing salamat. Pasalamatan pud nato ang atoang lecturer and commentator, atoang choir, Cowboys for Christ. Salamat sa tuang legat organista. Uh, Eucharistic Minister, sa tuwang seminarista, si Brother Saul, mga tuwang uh, altar server, si Lawrence, projector animator, mga volunteer na mga gift gatherers, PDART, uh, task force, and mga kapulisan nga naas sa gawas. O ganun yung tanan, daghan kayong salamat sa pag-usap. Palapakan na to ang matag-usa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Happy Piesta. Viva Maria. Viva! Viva Jesus! Viva Jesus! <laughs>
We thank our Mass Presider, Parochial Vicar of St. Mary of the Perpetual Rosary Parish, Buhangin, Rev. Father Ray Sabuero, and all our mission partners in this live streaming Mass. Special thanks to the Parish Priest, Rev. Father Junisho Tabiliran, and Villa Carmelita Resort, Mr. and Mrs. Ardonian Carmelita Lectawa and Family, One Cycle Mile Corporation, Jade Bookstore Davao Branch, Mr. and Mrs. Dodon Glo, Katayas and Family, Ornell and Dr. Jovic Fuentes, J. Rogue Marketing, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Osnan and Family, K101 Pharma, Carico Nutraway Systems Incorporated, B Pen Trading, Bernard and Rose Enriquez, Carlita RDL Pharmaceutical Laboratory Incorporated, Eric and Jocelyn Sardan and Family, Petticoco and Coffeeville Apartment Home, Mr. Rudy and Mrs. Jean Subiaco and Family, Engineer June and Mrs. Evelyn Alegre Sardido and Family, Vita Rivera's Bookkeeping Services, Mike and Bia O'Connor, Jim and Grace McManus and Ria Cidian, Vilma Cruz, Christopher Artland Cruz and Hidalgo Bonhe, Mr. Irvin Iroy and Mrs. Veronica Iroy, Moses and Partners Management, Joseph and Noah Construction, Engineer Edwin and Mrs. Inday Bankirigo and Family, ACD Family, our Lady of Manawag Prayer Community Davao, Mr. Rene Breva, Melanie Sandoval Montilio and Family, Malco and Gloca Nieta and Family, Glenn and Ritz Villacuer, Alpha Gold and Associates Insurance Agency, Teresita Villa Abrilie, RGM Coronel and Sons Realty, Josephine and Ernan Isaal and Family, Panabo Mayor Jose Ralampagos and Josephine Hantila Ralampagos and Family, Maria Corazon Tavan Lariambao, Dr. Oscar and Mrs. Georgie Graida and Family, Ro Mango Apartal and Suites, Mr. Alejandro and Mrs. Grace Adaptar and Family, San Pedro Poveda College, Milman Enterprises, Senator Bato de la Rosa and Family, Georgie Ilaganbian, Edmund Marilyn JP and Maggie Marcelo, DreamVet GPI and Donato Lalian and Family, Our Lady of Lords Davao Multipurpose Cooperative Shareholders, Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Leonor Lim and Family, Albert and Avelina Capinda, Mr. Vicente Magbanwa and Family, City Hardware, Trinidad Duguran, Carmelita and Hana, Carmela Kinko and Family, Hilda Limson, Engineer Lito and Mrs. Grace Mercado and Family, Belia Luca, Mirna Drupan, Harleen Deluson, Jovi Dehan, Joel Hubahib and Family, Hubahib Family, Mr. and Mrs. Roger Mergris Dumandan Montoho and Family, Mrs. Judith Navatar and Family, Dr. Rudy and Malu Lorena and Family, Davao Lorenzo Marketing Incorporated, Boy Zugba, Big Bees, Ray and Chato Aranda and Family, Our Lady of Fatima Parish, Boulevard, Davao City, Debbie Gumapak.